Good morning. Good morning. How many of you like board games? I love board games. I was so excited to have kids because then we could have family game night and we'd play board games all the time. That was like the best thing about having kids. So I brought some of our favorites. This one Ayla got for Christmas. Yeti in my spaghetti. So there's these little spaghetti noodles, and you have to try and keep the Yeti from falling in. It's silly, but it's fun. Then, this one's old, taboo. There's these cards with words on them, and you can't say any of the words on the cards, and you have to try and get your partner to guess it. It's a lot of fun. I'm really good at it. Then this one. Everybody in my house likes this one, except Mr. McLaughlin, because he doesn't really like board games. Do you guys know this one? Life. Savannah and Ayla love this one because they get to have little cars and they get to put people in the cars. So on this one, there are, I'm just going to show it to you. It's supposed to have buildings on it too, but that doesn't fit in the box. So we'll do it without the buildings. There's all these paths. You have to make a choice in the beginning which way you're going to go. And then you have to Go along the way and do the things they say. And there's a couple different spots where you have to stop and you have to make a choice. So what happens if you make the wrong choice in a game? What do you think? Raffi, what happens? Maybe you lose a turn. Yeah. Does anything really bad happen? You get pulled over by police. I don't think there's any police in this game, but no. if there were, I guess you could get pulled over. But does anything really bad to you happen? Could you restart the game again if you really wanted to and everybody playing wanted to? Could you play again later and make a different choice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What if there were like little bombs along the way? Oh, you hit a bomb, boom, kaplooey, and everything blew up. You Would the game be as fun then? Probably not, right? So the reason I'm showing you this game is because after Jesus was born, let's see. Here's little baby Jesus. After he was born, Herod the king was really angry because everybody was saying Jesus was the king. And so Joseph and Mary, they had to make a choice where they were going to go to stay away from Herod because he wanted to hurt them. So they could have gone one way, but they probably would have found Herod. They could have gone another way. They weren't sure which way to go. Who do you think told them which way to go? An angel of God. God was telling them which way to go. And do you think that Mary and Joseph listened to them? Listened to God and the angel? They did. They listened to God about where they should go, and they found a new place for Jesus to be safe. And I think God wants us to listen to him too. And it's okay if we make mistakes in a game, and it's okay if we make mistakes in our homework. That's what erasers are for. And it's okay if we make mistakes. That's what I'm sorry is for if we do something not so nice. But I think God wants us to listen to him so that we can find the right path, just like Mary and Joseph and Jesus did. In the game of life, we want to listen to God, right? All right, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for board games and erasers and I'm sorry. Thank you for all of the direction that you give us. Please continue to guide us to follow your path and make the best choices always. Amen.